There is Bobito Garcia, the legend. Let's take a listen to the voice of the Elite 24. You are not regulated. Aaron Gordon missed the basketball with the ISO. Okay, 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 okay. Go move! Go move! Peace, my name is Bob Pito Garcia, aka Cool Bob Love, DJ, writer, ball player. Ooh, hit him with the whip, whop, bang, bang. Ah. As a little dude, I kept the ball with me everywhere I went. And when I was 20 years old, I played professionally in Puerto Rico, my homeland. In the late 80s, I graduated from Wesleyan University, switched careers, and started working for Def Jam where I met a young DJ named Stretch Armstrong. In 1990, we started a radio show at WKCR 89.9 FM and introduced the world to an unsigned Nas, Biggie, Mob D, Wu-Tang, Big Pun, Big L, Jay-Z, when he had a 12-inch from no album deal. In 1998, The Source magazine voted us the best hip-hop show of all time. I started getting booked to DJ all over the world, playing rare Afro, Latin, Soul, jazz, and funk. The radio show also led to other opportunities, like writing a monthly column for Vibe, and contributing to The Source magazine, where in 1990, I wrote the first article on sneaker culture in media history. A decade later, I authored the critically acclaimed book, Where'd You Get Those? In 2005, ESPN gave me my own TV series called It's The Shoes, where I interviewed some pretty heavy cats in the game. That's how you freeze them. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh! He got, he got the magic! He got the magic already! This is the... Uh, <laughs> I was having mad fun and got to do some sneaker collabs that made a lot of noise. This whole time, I never stopped playing ball. And I've been blessed to play in 35 countries throughout five continents. I had 17 points to have. I'm finally getting over my jet lag. Co-found the magazine covering the playground and entertained some large crowds in big arenas. When I'm not playing, I'm either coaching or on the mic announcing. Wireless, wireless, wireless. The wig for two. The shampoo for another two. What you gonna do? He's gonna have a lot of shampoo endorsements in a minute, boy. I tell you. Conditioners, shampoo, everything. I was the voice of NBA Street and NBA 2K video games. That's the way to do it. Let's see that again. In 2006, I joined the New York Knicks broadcast team. I was the first Latino announcer in their 60 year franchise history. My God, we just heard the song a couple of a couple of moments ago, and the next city dances. I saw you in the chair. You was like this. <laughs> I used to play basketball. I sucked at it. I'm, I don't have talent, but you know, I like to come and watch. Well, thank God you can model. Tell me about this movie you're in. Robert De Niro producing it. Yeah, it's called The Prison Song. It's, it was written by Q-Tip, and uh, it also stars Q-Tip. Mary J. Blige is in it. Uh, Fat Joe. So you don't belong here, huh? Nah, man. You don't belong in here. This is a medium security prison, homeboy. They're not supposed to take murderers in here. I flushed it on your money. I flushed it on money. No, no, I flushed it on your money. I flushed it on your money. Those all mean the same thing. Tell me. I flushed it on you. Flush. 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 I've also appeared in over 40 TV commercials and 10 films. When I co-directed Doing in the Park, Pick Up Basketball, NYC, the documentary is probably the biggest accomplishment of my career so far, but I'm not done yet, so be on the lookout. Peace!